Take a look at this. Now a full-on typhoon at Gaon, also known as Iwanair internationally. It just touched these uh, exceptionally warm waters of the Philippine Sea here on a sunny night and uh, really continued to intensify. We're going to see this be the case throughout the day on uh, Monday, even heading over towards Tuesday. This could have got up to near super typhoon intensity as it pulls off towards the north and east. And I mean, just take a look. Uh, this is enhanced uh, infrared imagery. Very clear eye around that center of surge. Circulation. We're seeing those winds come on shore, slamming into the mountains here, at least further towards west. The Sierra Madre is kind of acting like a wall. But some of the islands, whew, it is uh, just absolutely getting pummeled here tonight with heavy rainfall and those gusty conditions. Now, things are drying out into Manila for the time being, but you can see all of that inflow coming in on the back side of that. That's going to continue to kick up showers. And as this pulls towards north, that inflow will slowly shift off towards the uh, north as well. Now, if you look at the broader picture, the reason why we're starting to see this turn towards the north and it's kind of skirting the coast here is because of this upper level jet, which is, you can see a storm right in here. You have some storms in there. That's all associated with the jet stream, just like that, which uh, basically these are kind of like uh, a boat in a river. It's going to want to flow into this upper level winds and flow off towards northeast as it rounds the west pack high. And that's why the forecast still expects it to move off towards the north and east here with that intensity. Look, it's up to 130 miles per hour. I mean, that is a, a potent storm system here, according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Category 4 on the Saffron Simpson scale. Uh, just absolutely potent. The good news uh, is that outside of Minami Daito, which is this island right here, they're going to get hit pretty hard by it, but they're uh, some of the most of battle-hardened uh, residents in the Western Pacific as far as tropical systems are concerned. Uh, this is going to stay south of Okinawa Honto and a lot of our military members out there for the United States. Uh, they always watch in these updates and kind of looking for uh, how close it will get. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some large dangerous waves from this and still some windy conditions, but the typhoon conditions will stay offshore. All right, taking a look at our future cast. So this moves away. You have that big old inflow on the back side of our storm system, which is going to continue to up that aka river of moisture out here and uh, that's going to bring some heavy rainfall from Manila all across region one through that extended forecast you see here uh, looking all the way ahead uh, through this upcoming week uh, it's just that inflow that's going to continue to take place so uh, still some impacts but at least the storm is kind of rolling away for the time being we're starting to see some improving conditions behind it but Boy, it just touched that water and flared right up into a pretty potent uh, typhoon. It continues to grow. If you have any photos or videos you want to share, please send me a message, though. I would like to see them. I know we did get some pretty decent damage in uh, parts of the Manila area and even extending down towards Bicol uh, into Quezon Province. Some pretty serious flooding uh, as well from this storm system. So still plenty of impacts taking place and uh, still more to be had with this, even though that center is starting to pull away uh, from Luzon. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Please let me know if you have any questions. And as always, stay safe out there.